for your OP244 class, you need to have Visual Studio 2019 installed on your local computers at home. At school, all the computer labs are equipped already with Visual Studio 2019 through my apps. But at home, you need to have it. So you can download the community version for it that is more than enough for whatever you are studying at Seneca. Um, so how you do it just just google visual studio 2019 community download and click on visual studio 2019 link this one and click ok uh, click it and download visual studio community 2019 it starts downloading the installer and click on the executable of course it's going to tell you ask for the admin rights because it started installing it wait for the installation to complete click on continue it does the download and then the installation begins When download is completed, it verifies to make sure everything's okay and then it installs it. Now, this was the installer that was installed. It, still, it has another step to go through, which is installing the uh, Visual Studio 2019 itself. When the installer opens, <clears throat> from the selections that you have to do the OOP 244 and C courses, all you need to have the desktop development with C++ so essentially it uh, allows you to create uh, console applications and you do not need anything else but it is always wise that in the uh, installation options select the other SDKs SDK is essentially the compiler version of what Visual Studio is using and when you use the previous SDKs then you can run previous um, projects if you need to without conversion so it is um, it is just a choice that you can have and I think it's a wise thing to do uh, there are so many different things that you can select over here um, it's countless things that I'm not going to go through. The only thing that you need to install is desktop development with C++. Do not waste the space of your computer by having everything added. Um, if you are taking another course, ask your prof to need to see what you want to install and only install that one. Okay, and then uh, click on install and the installation begins. It starts downloading. Uh, I don't want any survey to be done if you want to fit in a survey please do so uh, but now the downloading begins and after the download is completed installation is going to begin I'll pause the video and continue the rest of the process after the download is complete okay now the installation is almost complete and after this we are going to test this installation and see if it can work for us all right um, now that installation is complete it's going to ask you to sign in if you do not sign in i think you can work with it for a month or two and after that then it's going to get disabled so it's better to do it right from the beginning use your Seneca user ID and password and log into it so just click click on sign in and uh, Seneca oh sorry my Seneca Seneca.ca That brings you to the organization, which is ours, and put your password in there, log in, and then you can start coding. There we go. So it's just going to ask you for different types of things that you want. You want it to be dark, you want it to be like what you want the development setting to be. I put for Visual C++ because that's what we are going to do and then start Visual Studio 
this doesn't affect how Visual Studio works, just prepares it for you to be easier to write in that specific language. So this is how Visual Studio starts. Now, um, say I want to create a new project and test and see how it works or not, I'm just going to click on create a new project. Um, console application is what we want, so there are two different types, either, console, either empty project that is console, or console app that is called. So these are the two things that we can actually work with. Windows Desktop Wizard just essentially does what we want to do here. So it doesn't make much of a difference which one you want to go through. Anyway, so uh, um, I'm going to start with an empty project. So we, we start with that. And then we click Next. Uh, the name of the project, what you want it to be. So I'm going to call it over here test app and where it wants to be I'm gonna click on browse and I'm gonna go to documents OOP244 and in here I'm gonna, gonna select as a folder you see and uh, what you can do over here you must you must do over here is to always check this which means you do not want an extra um, directory get created over here. When you are creating a Visual Studio solution as it's creating right now, um, you can have in one project, you can have five different projects in one solution. You can have many different projects. But because we are working at school and it's an educational thing, we do not, at this stage, we're not going to do that. Therefore, you have one directory and one project in it. Therefore, this has to be always checked. Uh, and I'm going to click create. So in OOP244 test app is going to get created. I'm going to wait for a second. There we go. So it creates it like this. Uh, this is Solution Explorer. At left side we have it. Right side there are several different things. These are all unnecessary you can you can close them all none of these are needed toolbox properties none of these are needed the only thing that you need is solution explorer class view maybe you need it uh, when you develop classes you can always bring them back on uh, again property over here and the team viewer should be gone too and that is it all right so i'm going to go to solution explorer right click on source files and add new item I'm going to call it test.cpp and click on add. So the file is created. Now include IO stream using namespace std. And then we're going to say um, int main. In here, I'm going to say uh, C out testing one, two, three, and then I go to new line. I'm going to say return zero. Now, uh, you see that in here I have uh, four spaces, correct? And four spaces over here. Keep bear that in mind, and I'm going to show you something. So um, now let's try and see how it works. In debug, you have the shortcuts for everything, so uh, you can actually see what you want to do. F5, you can start debugging or Control F5 without debugging. That's what I want to do, so I'm going to do Control F5. Run and execute it. Build started, and voila, one, two, three. Now that it's done, what I need to do, I'm going to close this, so I'm going to close Visual Studio now, close Solution, all right, and close this one too, and get out of Visual Studio now, and get out of the installation, and all the things that we had. Now let's go to the directory and see what is created over here. If you look at the OP244 repository, in, in there this directory test app is created, and if I open that one, you will see that a test.cpp, test app solution, and these values are created. To carry your Visual Studio around, the only files that you need are your source files, BCXproj, and filters. 
this one, the user thing, uh, VC Express user, and SLN, and the debug directory, they are not needed. That's why we had the git ignore. If you look at your git ignore, git ignore actually tells you that there's tells the git that to ignore everything in IPCH and all the things and user and uh, SLN, it's not ignoring. Um, uh, let's let it pass. I could, I could simply say over here dot SLN and SLN, uh, which is the solution file will get ignored too so I can make that make it ignore it too but I'm not gonna do it for now just let it be okay so I'm not gonna actually save this don't save now I want to add this to my repository so I can go at school and work on it again so what I can do um, I right click over here on the directory that I created inside my repository first of all if I go to debug and I execute the executable test app um, it will run the program and immediately get out because it's just showing the um, uh, the uh, more testing one to three and end there is no pause but if I go to command line through command line so if I actually run the command line in here we'll go command okay and change the directory to this one so cd to this directory and if I take a look at it now I have uh, test app.txe so if I go test app it's going to actually execute the program so that's what the debug directory is you have the executable in there but now I want to send it so I can continue w working on this at school for example hypothetically so if you want to do that uh, you right click on the on the directory of the solution and click tortoise git add doing so it will only add those files that are needed as you see which is test cpp in this case solution vc exploration and filters and i'm going to click on ok and this added those things to the repository now i'm going to say commit which means essentially saving it into the repository which asks for a comment so i'm going to say creating test app and do a commit and now the commit is done it actually saved it inside the local computer I'm gonna click push and that's gonna send it up to github and there you go so now if I actually open github and look at the uh, repository you will see that a test app is created over there now if I look at the value these are the stuff that I have in there now if I want to I can say I go to school and I want to work on my application on matrix all you need to do is to log into matrix at school so I'm gonna log into matrix as if I'm at school So it's logged in so I'm gonna create a directory I'm gonna let's call it uh, make directory uh, my we'll call it my work I'm gonna CD my work oh sorry CD my work and now I'm in that directory now I want to clone the OP244 repository that has the test app inside on matrix so what I need to do is to go to op244 repository again copy the URL inside the clipboard now in here I'm gonna say git clone and then I am going to paste the repository path and hit enter this means go to github and get it so git essentially is the application clone is the command that git is going to execute and this URL is what the clone command is going to clone for us so in here I'm gonna say f solima which is the user ID that I had on git and the password and this brings everything in 
if I look at it and you'll see that I have op244 here if I change to that directory um, if I change to that directory you see I have a test app if I change to test app you'll see that everything is created in here so I can essentially say uh, C++ uh, test.cpp compile it and if I say a.out it's gonna say testing one two three 